Hello and what's up everyone, Thunderbob here, and tonight I am checking out a new game. This is Dice Legacy from developer Destiny Bit. And uh, this came out towards the end of last year, but just recently a new update rolled out, a new DLC. And uh, the developer reached out and offered a key, and I gladly accepted. I do appreciate that. Uh, it looks really cool. It's, um, it's like a survival city builder game, but it takes place on a ring world. And it involves dice, and it seems like the dice are actually like in the game world. I'm not completely sure how this plays out, but we're gonna we're gonna find out about this together. So let's see. Classic, the original Dice Legacy experience, an advanced experience with new content and mechanics. I'm not sure if this is specifically the new stuff, but I want to check out the enhanced experience. So we'll we'll try this. So these are locked, but I can do escaping fate, lead your people to discover an uncharted continent, learn the truth and break free the chains of fate. And the expansion is called Corrupted Fates, so I'm thinking this is that new expansion. It's just weird that they don't clearly call it out like by that name, but this kind of looks like the key art for it, so I'm going to go with it. Scenario selection. So it looks like these are locked probably until you beat the previous one. So we reach the shore of an uncharted continent. We must lead our people and discover what lies ahead. Okay. And it seems like on the main menu there was a thing that said ascended dice, and I think there's some way that you're able to like carry dice forward with you. Looks like there are five difficulty levels. I think I'll leave it at standard. So there's different options here. Tabletop dice can be rolled and manipulated while the game is paused. In game pause available, but dice cannot be manipulated and disabled. In game pause not available. We'll just leave it at the default levels here. So this must be my adversary. All right, well, let's just jump in. And I really liked the look of this um, from the trailer. Like it's got a pretty unique look with this ring world that the game takes place in. Dice Legacy is a peculiar game set in a world where winters are harsh, dangers are many, and mysteries are plenty. See what I mean? It's a very cool idea. Like a city building game in a, in a ring world, like a Halo style ring world. are your workers. Each die belongs to a dice class, indicating by its color. The upper face of a die indicates the action it can perform. Okay, okay. So I've got, it looks like a harvest, a harvest. What is that symbol? Combat. Harvest. So I could take my three harvest and so I could take one, two, three. So this is my cookhouse. Let's take one there. Oh, 
Oh, it's, I see it requires two. Grab. Shift grab. Okay. Oh, those are different. I need... I need the other type for those. And then they go harvest. I think for the combat dude to do. And I am using a mouse and keyboard here. That's really cool, the way the world, like rotates it's almost like disorienting my brain's not used to that i was thinking this one was like an exploration all right Locations. Locations are generated at the start of the game. Dice can be employed inside a location to gather resources, but this consumes the durability. When the durability of the location reaches zero, the location is destroyed. Buildings. Use the build menu to construct new buildings. Buildings have different requirements and resources. Some buildings require to be unlocked through the tech tree. Buildings can be demolished. Buildings could catch fire or go on strike. Okay. And I got a button here to roll the dice. School, house, cookhouse, district hall. Oh, and I can demolish also if I want to do that. I'm not sure what this one... I'm sure there's a way to get like a definition on it. Like a fog of warp here. I'm wondering if bad guys. Okay, so they must be finishing their task and then I get to die back. I wish I could just like. Okay, dice. Press space bar to roll. Rolling a die consumes its durability. If the durability of the die falls below zero, it will die and perish. Well, we don't want that. Press alt left click to lock a die, which will prevent it from rolling. What about the type of dice? It's interesting that like the die are actually like on the game world. It feels very much like a board game. These are your resources over here. I feel like I'm just kind of grasping what everything is. Yes, my durability goes down every time I do that. Okay, so there's a timer, so you can see, like, it is doing the thing I send it to go do. And then I get him back. But then I can't use it until it's rolled, so you only get so many um, uses out of all of these things. And then you gotta re-roll. Okay, I'm getting it. 
I need more stone for a school I could make. So this is my town hall. A lot of building. Very few uh, buildings. Manipulation. Knowledge extractor. Obelisk. I need more stone, right? That's a stone mine. Hunting grounds, hunting grounds. Iron mine. It's kind of like... You don't always know what abilities or what you're going to be able to do on any given time. So this will give me a dice. Produces new peasant dice. So let's put a house down. And then I can use that worker. Okay, I'm, I'm getting it. I need two to start that. I think that, yeah. So that doesn't start building until I put both the die in the spot. Make progress. I want to at least beat this first level. I haven't played a good strategy game in a while. Maybe the last one I got deep into was like They Are Billions. I played a lot of that. I played some Great Goo, some StarCraft II. Slot types. Locations and buildings can have different requirements in terms of resources, dice, faces, and classes. Also, the results provided by location can be influenced by the power of the face employed. Accepts only a hammer face. Accepts only a... The result is multiplied by the face power, except any face belonging to a peasant dice, except only... Okay. Okay. I'm grasping thing. What happens when I run out of all these die? Generate peasants. We get some more stone. And I could build something, maybe. Oh, I can restore durability. Oh, I got a cookhouse here. Okay. Restores durability to a die using food. How do I get food? Do I... Okay, so when I was putting stuff there, it wasn't doing anything because I wasn't putting any food next to it. But that will restore some health, per se, on my die. Do I need a wheat farm? I'm assuming that'll give me more food. I got a peasant die. So by doing that, I got another dice. And you got room for... Pretty good amount of them, it appears. I should probably keep doing that. So every 60 seconds I get a new die by doing that. That's almost like... Uh, like building more peons in Warcraft, maybe. You can produce new peasant die from your house. Next one, please gather extra resources. Next one, angry building may be set on fire. That's not good. It's not good at all. Reroll everything. So what? Rides food. Sure, go clean that up. Can I construct? 
I, I started a wheat field, but I need two workers apparently. I need those to be. I want to get more, getting more die. Dice. I think that's. It's like building up your income early on in a RTS game. It feels like. I'm still a total noob at this. Don't take any of this as a. Someone who knows what they're doing. But it's 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 pretty interesting. I really like like the. the the way the world is presented on this kind of and i'm assuming maybe the fog of war pushes out as you progress or maybe some levels have like a bigger play area at least that's what, the way uh, the trailer made it look okay, i gotta put that guy in the cookhouse like all of these can only do very specific things and it's like okay i don't have anything to build right now it's getting colder winter's approaching sooner fields will be frozen we need to make sure we have enough food to burn in our steam generators your actions can affect happiness any actions can lower or increase happiness riot that wouldn't be good Seems like the only thing these ones can do is build stuff, but I don't have the resources yet to like build a lot of stuff. I didn't see how much it actually um, regenerates your die. Do I want more food? Do I need I feel like more stone? I could make more. Actually, I don't know if I need more houses because I'm already kind of generating as many peasants as I can. I didn't even see there's objectives here. Build a mill, build a district hall, gain six wheat, build a steam generator. Is it? It's not summer anymore, right? End of summer. Like, can I... But I know I need wheat. I need a mill. I need eight wood. So I need more wood. Have another die here in a second. I feel like I'm doing very poorly. These combat ones, I can't really do anything with them because there's no combat. You think you could send them to go hunting? I mean, they got swords and stuff. We get more wood. I guess I can always just use them to produce more.
Now I got wheat. Oh, but I need... I need that one. Council. The council is proposing new laws. Increase the resource gathered in all locations inside peasant districts by one. Double the food produced in all buildings. All newly obtained die have one extra power. Um, I feel like the resources might be. Every season the council will reunite and will ask players to enact a policy. You can interact only with locations and buildings that are within your territory. You can expand your territory by using district halls. To do so, place a district hall on the edge of your territory. So that's... I need to build a district hall still. Place employed during winter will risk freezing. The colder the temperature, the higher the risk. Wheat farms will stop working during winter. Bird on steam genders can prevent dice used in their range from freezing. Oh, I need a steam generator. Don't see a steam generator. There's one. Oh, I need four iron and I do have the iron mine combat guys. I'm just going to send them over there. I need to make a steam generator. I got the mill up and running. Produces food from wheat. Okay, so I make I get the wheat, turn it into that. Except I need it to be summer again. for food from mill. Was that there before? I'm not sure. Just the district thing. District hall needs six Six woods. I still need more wood. Except those guys can't get me wood. They can, though.
dice is frozen. Where's the frozen dice? Over time, that's cool. Major ability. Each ruler has a different wager ability, which can be activated by rolling the required combination. Places that are locked are also considered not frozen or exhausted. At least one face. Okay. Don't really know what all that meant, but okay. How long is it going to be winter? Now I needed more wood to make my... Just Oh, I got enough now. I said like I could expand my territory by making these towards the, the edge. We got a district hall coming. I'll have wheat when summer comes back. Steam generator. Still need two more iron. Almost got full dice here. Kind of an interesting, like, loop. Like, you're making more dice with your houses. You're using those dice to harvest, to craft. There's just a lot of, like, randomness with the dice, which, I mean, is the name of the game. Dice are random by nature. But it just feels a little bit weird. It's, like, unreliable. And I, I guess when, like, combat starts, maybe it makes more sense, but... So I've got... Isn't this the district hall? Is it still up here? Of course, now I don't have any builders. What you could re roll a dice, like. Well, I guess that's what this is, but... I gotta get rid of a dice. I should probably get rid of, like, the lowest. Oh, it's not done building. That's, I got it. Doing your thing. Come on, is winter almost done? Play no one attacks me because I'm I'm sure I'm moving very slowly. Turn on steam generator. Keep generator on. So six wheat, four food, and then expand my territory. Wait for summer? Or could I have used the steam generator on... I might have been the smarter play. I'll make another one I can. Put one over here.
feel like I still don't know what all of these ty types of dice do. Like, like I just want something that shows me the type of dice. Like even here, you can't like, you should be able to mouse over them and be like, oh, that's this, that's this, that's this. Kind of. I think that should be more obvious. And like when I, when I highlight over this, why is it showing me all the dice up there instead of just giving me like a tool tip? Oh, was summer starting? End of winter. I guess I didn't need this second one. So many workers. Nice. Now I can get some... Levels the food product in all buildings. Wheat farms. That would have been nice a minute ago. Ban my territory. What does that even mean? Can I build out here now? I guess I could just let my dice die because I can make more with like no cost, but it takes some time. Like I'm not sure the cost to like to resource kind of. Start working the wheat. Oh, that's how I expand my territory. So that's what that one, those are explorers, which I haven't had any use for like the entire game. Yeah. Those guys, which I don't have any. found encampments. Oh, okay. Look, my upgrade district hall into class district hall. So it is like expanding as I go along here. I don't know if, if I'm going to beat this first mission tonight. Like I'm, I'm not sure how long it is. Am I making good progress? kind of want this first video just to be like maybe like 20 minutes. These guys will let me... Like, grab an encampment. I still don't know what the melee guys are for. You encounter a small encampment, the population seems peaceful and lost in adoration of some kind of deity. Our clerks managed to impress them and was offered it with some gifts. Alright, cool. I like gifts. Uh oh. Terrified peasant screams for help. Somebody's attacking. Who? Why? The others. We are not alone. Some pale slender figures. Okay. Where are these jerks at? Okay, I beat them. That was relatively easy. Like, the whole purpose of having the sword guys is just to, like, stop them. Give me some wheat so I can get that off my thing. Get 
have any sword guys. Okay, now you won't give me a sword when before all I could get was sword. Not, not cool. How come I can't explore out here now? Did I get all the wheat? I got two wheat. It's kind of tedious to, like, grow food. And because you need those two specific types, it's like... I'm just not getting the workers I need. Foul stench fills the air. Strange-looking figures are carrying putrid jars, perhaps some kind of poison. You stop. For whatever reason, I can't seem to outside our territory. Oh, okay, these are all part of one encampment, I guess. I must have to build more of these to expand my view further. Okay, okay. I will not let me put the wheat down. I need I need another worker there. I don't know, one worker, two feet. I cannot. The dice is wounded. I don't want to reroll that one because it's going to die. Whatever. Go over there. It never gives me the workers I want. The, I, I need these things. I got, you know, 12 dice and I'm not getting any of them. I don't understand why I can't drop any wheat there. Oh, that's herbs. Please ignore my... My dumbness here. My apologies. There we go. Except I got one of them again. What the hell? Oh, I didn't realize I could just drop anything there. And gold. I don't think I have any gold. Winter starting, but I thought I got that ability where I could do the wheat in the winter. Did I not? Let's try to put some wood there. I 
That's annoying. How do I upgrade my district hall? It says it can be upgraded, but I don't see... Okay, any die and two gold. Oh, I do have gold. I still need wheat. Now we're gonna fast forward time because I wanna get back into the summer. It's like it's fun it feels kind of like um something like civilization but they're using a lot of like randomized mechanics using dice throws which at times feels good and at times is kind of like i don't know it doesn't completely work for me there's a little bit too much randomization like like in a normal strategy game you would just have a worker and you could tell your worker to build you could tell your worker to harvest um to upgrade and all that in this game it's like you've got a pool of workers and every turn, randomly, they can do different things. And what I want to do is harvest. And like four turns in a row, I didn't get the harvest thing. So it was like, I I don't know if the dice mechanic is worthy of kind of the frustration it causes. And maybe it gets more complex as you pro progress in it. But that mechanic i don't like i'd be having more fun if i could just have one type of worker that did all this stuff in my mind right now but maybe it opens up more and there's more reasoning for it as i go further and there's like a lot of micromanagement where i'm just telling the dice to do the same thing over and over again like i'm not i'm not completely like done with it but I might be ending my session here for this evening. It's kind of getting late anyways. Just some odd choices, I would say. I think if I get these two, I'm done with the level, though. So maybe I'll just try to do that. You could probably do this in, like, five minutes. And I'm doing, like, the dumbest possible way, I'm sure. Into winter. Can I unfreeze that or on whatever? I did it not start producing wheat. And again, not getting the guys I need. I got one job. Get the wheat. And I can't do it. It's already the middle of summer. Let's so slow her down, because I'm gonna... I really want to get this last weed I need. Oh, there's a bad guy coming. Don't have any of the melee guys, of course. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, did it downgrade Peasant District Hall? Wasn't it a class? Maybe not. 
Did I get the wheat? I got four wheat. Thank God. Fast forward again. Give me a fighter now. What the heck? And it's weird because like a dim screaming man with torches would stop them. Slow down. And now I'm not getting the fighter guys. Like, I don't know. I'm just not in love with the dice. Like I know that's the whole game. But I just feel like I never get the combination of dice I need to, to actually Yeah, it's just giving me new objectives. I think I'm done for the moment. Like I kinda see what they're going for. And maybe it makes more sense as you progress. But like the dice mechanics just kind of frustrating. Like I again I've got twelve, you know, eight dice here, and none of them and it's just the randomness of it. But like I feel like I just never have the dice that will actually do what I need them to do when I need them to do it. Uh, I'm going to end it here. I, I really like the look of the game. I really like the concept. But the execution leaves a little bit wanting here. Um, I might give this another try. And when I get my Steam Deck, I'll probably see if this is playable on there. I know RTS type games aren't the best on there. But I'm curious what the thumbsticks on RTS might work. Um... If you've got thoughts on this, if, if this is your favorite game and I'm just playing it all wrong, leave me a comment below. This is my first attempt at it and maybe I'm doing something wrong or maybe I'm not grasping everything. Obviously, I'm going pretty slow just picking this up, but there's some frustration around the dice rolls and around not getting the right type of dice over and over again. And, and I don't know, it just doesn't quite come together for me. So let me know what you think. Um, I do want to thank you for watching, everyone, and have a good night.